Hey guys, Ryan King here, and I'm the keyboard instructor for WorshipArtistry.com. In today's YouTube lesson, we're going to take a look at the song Say Say by Christian Stanfield. Specifically, we're going to look at the verse. Now, we're only going to look at the verse, so if you want to see the entire lesson, you need to click the link and head over to Worship Artistry, where you can sign up for an account for less than 10 bucks a month, and it's totally worth it. But just in case you want to check out a YouTube video, this is for you. The intro starts off with us kicking into the full groove and we're just going to use our big synth bass arp and all we're doing is just holding a low C note and it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four and off. So nothing too special about that, we're just allowing the ARP to do all the work for us. Now if you're not going to use the ARP on this and just allow the bass player to do it, then just lay out for the intro. Now after the intro, we go straight into the verse. We're going to lay out the first half of the verse, then we're going to come in the second half of the verse. Now halfway through the verse, we have a 2-4 bar, so it'll go 1-2-3-4, 2-2-3-4, 1-2, 1-2-3-4, 2 3 4 2 2 3 4 that sort of thing, and so don't let that catch you off guard. When we come in on the second half um, of this verse, we're going to use our EP fat lead as well as our big synth, but we're going to pull the um, low pass filter way back on that synth, and as we go through the second half of the verse, begin to open it up before launching into the chorus. And so the verse looks like this. Uh, one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and 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 off. So not terribly difficult. The easiest way to get this is just to slow it way down. And all we're doing is just playing eighth notes. Now as we begin to progress through that first verse, when we start playing, we're going to open up our filter to allow that synth patch to come in. For the second verse, you're only going to use that fat lead. So to break the melody down, we're going to start off on C, and then we jump down and play G, A, and then D, G, A, E, G, A, D, G, A, and then C, but instead of doing G, A, we're going to walk down. C, A, G, A, and then it starts over again. So it's 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 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 off. So again, the easiest way to get this is just to slow it way down. Again, you strike the C and then it's G, A, D, G, A. And so you've kind of got this, uh, your main melody, C, D, E, and you jump down and play G, A, G, A, G, A each time until you come back to the C and then it's a walk down and then back up. Now remember, halfway through the verse, we've got this 2-4 turnaround. And so you're just going to play that C walk down and back up twice. So you'll play... 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and off. So all I did for that 2-4 bar is do the walk down and back up again and then it starts over again and you do the C, G, A to start the figure again. So don't let that catch you or throw you off guard. Now again, the first verse, you're going to lay out the first half and then come in the second half with your EP and uh, your big um, synth patch, but you're going to pull that filter way back and then start to open it up as you move along through the verse. The second verse, um, you're only going to use your fat lead and when we get to the end of both verses, you've got this little jump. C, G, C before launching into the chorus. So one more time, the verse looks like this. Uh, one, two, three, four. One. So again, that's one and two and three and four and one, two, three, off. So you've got that little jump C, G, C at both ends of the verses. And so um, the first time you'll have your synth patch and then the second time it'll just be your fat lead. So again, the intro starts off with your barbaric bass. You're just holding the C note, allowing it to do its thing. If you're not using that barbaric bass, then you can just lay out. Come in halfway through the first verse and then the second verse you'll play the entire time. Remember you've got that 2-4 uh, turnaround before going back into it. So make sure that doesn't throw you off guard. Now make sure you take a look at your sheet music down below, work through the loop video a few times, and let's move on to the next part of the lesson.